Every year on the 5th of November, we celebrate Bonfire Night. It's a strange tradition that involves building a bonfire and putting an effigy of a man called Guy Fawkes on it. We set off fireworks and eat treats like parking and toffee apples. Today, we are going to look why we remember, remember the 5th of November. This is the story of Guy Fawkes and the Gunpowder Plot. Guy Fawkes was the most infamous member of the English Provincial Catholics. They were not happy that King James I, the Protestant king, did not make any changes once Queen Elizabeth I died. They felt the Catholics were treated unfairly and weren't represented by the government. The leader of the English Provincial Catholics, Robert Catsby, planned to fill the cellar of the Houses of Parliament with 36 barrels of gunpowder and blow it up. This would kill lots of important people, including the members of Parliament and the King. Once the plot had been carried out, the English Provincial Catholics planned to ask for help from Catholic leaders from Europe to send forces to take over to install a Catholic leadership in Britain. The group felt the Princess Elizabeth, who was the daughter of King James, would do a better job of representing Catholic people if she was the Queen. One of the group members was worried about the number of innocent people that would die if the plot went ahead. We're not sure who it was, but many think it was a man called Francis Tresham that wrote a letter to William Parker, the fourth Baron of Monteagle. The letter won the nobility of the plot and prompted them to search the House of Parliament, where they found Guy Fawkes with 36 barrels of gunpowder lying in wait in the cellar. Guy Fawkes was captured by Thomas Nivett, who was sent to search the cellars under the Houses of Parliament. Guy Fawkes was taken to be questioned by members of the King's Privy Chamber. He gave the false name John Johnson. He refused to tell them who he was working with, and King James ordered that he should be tortured to find out more about the plot. After doing some unspeakable things to Guy Fawkes, the lieutenant of the tower, Sir William Wood, forced him to reveal his true identity and the plot to place Princess Elizabeth on the throne. On the third day of torture, he mentioned Francis Tresham, who he suspected of sending the letter that led to him getting caught. Guy Fawkes was eventually hanged, drawn and quartered, which is a pretty nasty way to go. To celebrate surviving the plot, the observance of the 5th of November at 1605 was passed and bonfires were lit on its anniversary. The observance of the 5th of November at 1605 was enforced until 1859. After that it, it became a tradition and people chose to carry on building bonfires, setting off fireworks and having treats to mark the occasion. These days, the reason for having bonfire night might seem a bit strange, but it's still a good excuse to get together and have some fun. Remember, remember the 5th of November. Gunpowder treason and plot. We see no reason why gunpowder treason should ever be forgot. Die folks, die, twas his intent to blow up the king and his parliament. Three store barrels were laid below to prove old England's overthrow. By God's mercy, he was catched with a darkened lantern and burning match. So holla boys, holla boys, let the bells ring. Holla boys, holla boys, God save the king. And what shall we do with him? Burn him. <laughs>